Have you ever wondered how much travel agents make? Are you thinking about a career change or have you always wanted to become a travel agent or open your own travel agency? Well, stick around because I'm gonna give you my real numbers for 2023 of what I made as a part-time travel agent. Hi, I'm Asai, I'm the owner of Scenic Views Travel. And my channel is here to bring you travel-related content like resort reviews, tours, and travel agent insider tips and tricks. First, a little backstory. I worked in a corporate finance job for years until I wound up quitting to stay home with my two young kids. It wasn't long before I felt like I was missing something and that there was more that I should be doing. And that's when I found out about becoming an at-home travel agent. I am a type A planner to a T and I really love the entire travel planning process. So I knew that becoming a travel agent would be the perfect next step for me. And I wound up opening my agency in 2016. So right after I opened my agency, later part of 2016, I actually found some moderate success and it kept growing and growing through the years. And then of course, 2020 and you know what happened. And things were so bad in the travel industry that I actually almost completely threw in the towel. But I persevered and in 2023, I decided to just put as much effort as I could into my business. Now, before I get into the monthly and the grand total number for 2023, make sure you stick around to the end because I'm actually gonna share with you what my numbers look like for 2024 as of right now. Okay, so the first thing you may be wondering is how exactly are travel agents paid? It really depends on the business model that you run. First and foremost, most travel agents are paid off of commission and that commission could be anywhere from 10% to 20%, but that's not off of the total package price. Every trip component or the piece of that package is commissioned at a different rate and some are not commissioned at all. Think about a resort um, or a hotel. You find the perfect hotel and it's $200 a night, but then you pay an additional however much in taxes and fees. We don't earn commission on that amount. Airfare, I typically don't earn any commission on airfare. And if I do, it's usually as little as 3%. So it really depends on what supplier you use or what resort you're booking or what package you wind up putting together. And that will then determine your commission level. Now that doesn't mean that I get my full commission. That is all dependent upon the host agency that you work under. Now I will get into exactly what a host agency is in another video. However, all you need to know right now is that a host agency will actually take a cut of your commission. And some host agencies will take as much as 50%, which to me is insane. Whereas the host agency that I work under takes a 20% cut. And I actually have some very exciting news that I'm gonna share towards the end of this video about my commission for 2024. So make sure you stay tuned. And the funny thing about commission is it's not even paid until after your clients travel. So you've put in all this work and you don't get paid unless they actually do travel with the exception of cruises. Cruises tend to pay out commission after the final payment date, which is around three to four months prior to departure, depending on the cruise line and the stateroom category reserved. So what does part-time mean? Well, for me, part-time means that when my kids are home from school, that I am focusing on them. So days off from school, half days, the weekends, I am typically not working unless I have to. Things do get tricky in the summer because I do have to work, but I do work hard to maintain a very set and specific schedule so I can be there for my kids. That does work out to be around 25-ish hours per week. However, I feel like my brain tends to work about 60 hours per week. Anyone else have that? Okay, so let's get into the monthly numbers. Before I dive in, here's just a little disclaimer about my numbers. This is just my personal journey. These are just the numbers that I make. This doesn't necessarily reflect what you would make or what other travel agents make. And in fact, I know ton, I have tons of colleagues that make far more than I do. And I've been trying to copy their success ever since I started this business. So let's get into the details. So in January, my commissions included a payment for a Disney trip that traveled earlier in the month and a group cruise of four staterooms that was set to sail in March. I made 
$1,219.59. In February, I only had one commission payment for a sister's getaway in Cancun, and I made $505.60. In March, I didn't have any commission payments, but spring break was in April in 2023, and that's always my biggest travel season of the year. So I actually, I processed a cancellation fee for clients that canceled a May trip to Mexico, and I was paid for our personal trip to Disney for our park tickets, which was going to happen in June. And I had a group of three families that traveled to Cancun and a family trip to Aruba for a total payment of $1,981.20. And I did receive some more spring break commissions in May based on the time that they traveled. And those trips were for a family trip to Fort Lauderdale and a family trip to Cancun for a total of $870.16. And here's where being a travel agent is really hard because I actually didn't receive any income in June and I had a small commission payment of $19 and one penny for a travel protection policy in July. August picked up quite a bit more due to summer travel. I had a group of three rooms that went to Punta Cana I had another anniversary vacation to Punta Cana and then also a cruise that was booked for November, which paid commission for a total of $1,590.53. In September, I had a honeymoon couple go to Aruba, a cruise for January that was set to sail in January. And then I actually also made a huge business decision that I was going to start charging fees. For this fee, they would get my concierge care level service that would give me the ability to focus on the clients that need me versus the clients that aren't even sure whether or not they want to take a trip or whether or not they can even afford it. So um, I actually did also receive a payment for a fee that I charged for a total of $782.10 in September. In October, I received commission from a cruise that set sail in February some small payments for travel protection policies, and the rest was for my new concierge fee for a total of $835.33. And then in November, I received the commission for a cruise sailing in January, and then the remaining portion of the cruise that was set to sail in February that I got paid in the month before, and then also a family vacation to Cancun for a total of $1,619.93. And finally, in December, I didn't make anything. And in fact, I took the entire last half of the month off to finish my Christmas shopping and spend time with my oldest daughter who was home from Army Basic Training for holiday block leave. So if you've been keeping track, then you already know how much I made in 2023 but my grand total was $9,423.49. So was it more or less than you expected? Now I mentioned this earlier, but I'm going to let you know what my numbers look like for all of 2024 as it stands right now in February. And right now I have trips booked through July. So I have plenty more of bookings to do. I book throughout the year for all times of the year. However, I received an incredibly exciting email from my host agency just at the end of January, and I finally reached a goal that I have been working toward ever since I became a travel agent. And that was for me to move from the 80-20% commission cut structure to the 90-10% commission cut structure. So that means that my host agency will now take only 10% of my earned commission and I get to keep 90%. And I've been working toward this since 2016 and I was well on my way to reaching this goal in 2020. So for me to finally have this happen is huge and I am so excited because it just means that I am making more money. Predicted income right now as of February for all of 2024 is a total of $13,898.59 and I am so excited. And I'm really hoping to add YouTube monetization to this number when I go back and do this again in 2024 and I recap everything I made. I would love to hear your feedback, your comments. If you'd like to see a monthly breakdown throughout all of 2024, I'm happy to sit down and tell you what trips I booked, 
what I've been working on, what my business is looking like, and then give you a total of what I made each month. If you're interested, just let me know down in the comments. I'd love your feedback. And as always, if you're looking for a travel agent, I would love to help you. Please click the link in my description box and we can get started planning your dream vacation.